psychogenic gait disorders, uh, like psychogenic movement disorders in general, can be difficult from many perspectives, from assessment to diagnosis to treatment. Uh, one of the things that makes uh, diagnosis of psychogenic gait disorder difficult is that frequently a psychologic or psychiatric diagnosis is not found if you were to refer them to a psychiatrist. Also, even though the, the gait dysfunction is termed psychogenic, there is not always a source of stress, either conscious or subconscious, that can be found um, that provokes these gait problems. However, there are some principles that can be uh, relied upon to raise a red flag that the gait dysfunction might be uh, a psychogenic uh, etiology. One of these, and perhaps most importantly, is if the gait pattern does not fit into a specific known movement disorder. It does not look especially Parkinsonian, or if it does, there's some things that don't make uh, clinical or physiologic sense. It's not a classic ataxic gait, uh, or so forth. Another aspect is if there is inconsistency in how the gait dysfunction presents. Um, if there is wide variation, uh, in terms of its severity, it fluctuates from very severe to mild, uh, even, or if it's, especially if it's episodic in nature, where sometimes they walk completely normally, and others, the, the full-blown gait dysfunction comes out. This is not usually seen in, in movement disorders, at least. Um, another issue is if there's complete remissions in the gait dysfunction for, for days or weeks at a time. This is kind of, this is also um, unusual in psychogenic movement disorders.